Hey everybody, it's Dream Garden. It's probably been a while, and I'll tell you this right now, it's been a while because the fact of the matter is, is we've had nothing but sun, rain, sun, rain, and when we're not getting that pattern, I have been busy with work, and the temperature has been through the roof. A lot of you actually might have known that last week, we had temperatures on the west coast that were up to uh, 120 degrees, I think, if I heard. I know they were worse than the 116 degrees that we had had a few weeks ago. So I'm guessing from the rumors I heard was they got pretty bad over in Oregon and California. So it was bad over here, just not as bad. Now, right now, speaking of bad, I bet you guys can get a good look. And if we check out the backside, um, Here's what the skyline looks like. We just got through a nasty rainstorm, which I guess in a sense could be called the thunderstorm because the thing is, is that there was thunder and lightning. It just wasn't here. It, it was more off in the distance. So now, unfortunately, my hose sprung a leak with all the heat we've been getting lately. So that wasn't fun. Hey, guys, let's take another look at something else. By the way, this is an impromptu video today, guys. I was not planning on doing this video, um, but things worked out a certain way. So we're doing the video. There's the turkeys. That's a... That's a mother turkey, and believe it or not, those are her uh, juveniles from this year. Uh, believe it or not, they were much smaller not too long ago. So, um, had a lot of birds around here lately. Uh, had a whole flock of starlings here, mostly a mother and a lot of juveniles, which is, like I said, the same thing we got going on there with the turkeys. Uh, I've had Phoebes, Eastern Phoebes around here lately. I've seen a couple of Greckles that I haven't seen that much of this year. I've got some um, goldfinch it around. A lot of it because I put bird food in my bird feeder, but um, there's other factors involved too. So, but uh, I just to get, I got a plant in before it started pouring. And I got a plant in directly after it started pouring. So that's mostly why we're doing the video. Now, uh, you can see what the rain did, guys. It took that peppermint I had here and just spread it wide open. But it's mostly the, um, the, uh, la, la, la. It's the weeping willow cherry blossom I want to show you. And I don't think I'm going to have to flick any um, uh, Japanese beetles off it. Although you can tell that they've been making this into their own personal buffet. And I've had to flick a few off here and there. Um, there's been some other stuff. There's some in other indications. Usually when you see leaves wrapped up like that, that means there might be a bug or two. I've seen multiple caterpillars that have not been um, the monarch butterfly caterpillars today. Though the monarch butterflies have been, uh, I'd say about double what I saw last year, which is what they should be. It should be going up exponentially every year, and I've been putting in a lot more plants that attract them. Now, the thing I want to show you guys is look how like far down this thing's going. It's literally touching the ground now. Now, I don't believe I'm supposed to cut these, but I'm going to have to take a chance at that. I still have not got around to doing that, but I need to at some point. I think this is the normal growth after this thing got done making its blossoms and its berries. This is the normal growth. And this growth and the growth of the cherry blossom up front just went through the roof. And I think a lot of that is because we're trying to keep the bugs from just chomping away at these things like this. Now, Japanese beetles eat like that. This is some kind of caterpillar or another bug. Uh, with the rain we just got, though, not much is on this from what I can see right now. Let's hope it stays that way. But I just want to show everybody just the, how much this thing has grown. It's touching the ground. The trunk has expanded uh, the diameter big time. Um, yeah, it's been a, been a nice couple days with the sun and the rain um just making everything very green however it sucked for gardening it sucked for landscaping it's sucked for mowing it's just everything has been kind of crap but since it's been a while since we checked out the garden we will check out a few things guys that are just doing very well and then we'll check out the new plants as you guys know um we are checking out, this is more of the new blooms, and then we'll check out the new stuff. And we're not really going to have much on other, because I'm not going to really show you the caterpillars or much else, guys. However, we are going to look at these gorgeous raspberries. Just look at these things, guys. These things are huge. Um, and this tree has done very well, and sometimes if you look around, you can spot where the, where the um, new blooms drop their berries... And um, that's stuff that the ants carry off and the birds eat, which is what we want, along with we want to make a hedge line out of this. Uh, the blackberry one, I don't expect much good out of it. Um, 
I'm being cautious as I walk through this, guys. Um, the birds tend to just jump out at you. The morning doves love it over here for some reason. Um, and so you're walking along and you mind your own business and bam, a whole bunch of birds come out at you. Uh, along with that, I'm um, just sensing a lot of things that I don't like. Um, looks like something's been eating away at this, guys, or maybe it's supposed to look like this. However, it definitely has some growth. It's, uh, it's definitely got bigger there. And it's, I think, made it a little bit farther over there now. However, once again, no berries. No berries whatsoever. Um, that is not going to be something I'm really going to be ultra concerned with. However, I am concerned that something is eating this thing. Now, let's check on this thing. Um, nope, that's not berries. That's just another flower growing underneath it. Um, it's growing out this way too now, guys. So, um, the growth has been good. And I think it'll go good for next year. Uh, that is an, another one that is mostly the berries are for the birds. Um, they're for wildlife, um, which I would like to attract wildlife around here. Um, I actually got the chance to see my chipmunk today for the first time in a while because I put bird seed out. And he likes coming out and getting bird seed and stockpiling it. And the thing is, is that he's very comfortable with coming up close, but he kept his distance. But the thing is, is I got to actually see him roll around and the red molts there today. And that's what I've been showing you guys over there off to the ways of, uh, for a while now where it looked like he was trying to bury something. They roll around in it. I'm thinking it's like sawdust for a guinea pig. It's just they like to roll around in it. And so he's been rolling around in it. It's just been kind of funny that way. Uh, I am happy I'm doing this impromptu video in the rain stop guys so I can do this with you because there's a lot of opportunity today. One is the growth on this has gone up exponentially. I think this is it making its run for the end of the year, and this is what's gonna get us some life out of this. I'd also like to point out that I think it's got some height growth. Wait till you guys see the honeysuckle plant. Oh my gosh, it went through the roof. Um, I got pictures of this that I'll have to show you guys down the road to do something of, but all the blossoms have come and gone. The, this thing acts like a daylily. Blossoms come off for a day and then boom, gone. That's what I found out. The blanket flower guys, doing very well. The um, Gara, there's nothing special to report on it, but it's still doing very well. The pincushion guys, managed to get one beautiful little bud in, and I think its little blossom is gonna do okay, and then we'll maybe get another one there if we're lucky. Um, this stuff here is fills in like crazy. I'm happy to report there hasn't been as much Japanese beetle activity here. Over there with the catnip guys, that's been a problem because it grew and grew and grew and grew and grew. But I think we're coming to the end where the bees are not gonna be worried about it and we're gonna start cutting it. Now you guys will have to pardon me, I've already got black flies aiming for my ears right now. I'm happy they're not aiming for my eyeballs, but if they start doing that, um, I'll have to stop of course and you know deal with it. So, but uh, yeah, everything guys is pretty much stopping its blooms and is sticking with growing. Ooh, logging truck, nice. You don't get to see those go by too often. But, you know, everything's looking pretty good. The spider ward off to the sides, guys, looks just like my delphinium there. It just is gone. It's, it's just gone. It just kind of, everything on it just kind of was died back. And I can't explain it, but I'm really hoping it's natural for it to look like that and it comes back next year. Oh, you guys can't smell it, but the lemon smell over here from this is just absolutely terrific. Um, yeah, a lot of work that needs to still be done. Landscaping is a big problem I'm still dealing with. Um, the Wegela, or Wegela, guys, as I told you a couple, like almost a week or so ago, I said the blooms would be back. They're back, big time back. It's a very, very pretty plant. I'm very happy how it's coming in late in the summer. So very late in the summer. Natural raspberry growing here, guys. However, not a single berry on it. I am very actually surprised about that. Now, I feel like I got bugs on me, but unfortunately, I don't have bug spray. So I'm going to be checking on my legs a lot. Um, so bear with me, guys. This is doing good. It's bunching in the bottom, but it's doing good. Um... I mean, all the trees take time. This surprised me, guys. The Red Hot Poker came back for another round, most likely because of the fact that the matter is, guys, it likes 
super, super damp soil. And we've been having rain up to wazoo. It's been raining, raining, raining. Uh, it's, there are some dry periods in between, but it stays so humid that the freaking water never evaporates. So everything's been acting just like a damp sponge on all the plants. Look at how much of the rain guys just pushed all this down. Now look at this guys. This is one of our Veronica's. It's actually making a comeback. It's making a comeback late in the season. I'm very impressed. We just uh, did something having to do with those. So we'll talk about that. This is recovering. That blue beard's recovering. Um, it, uh, it doesn't look like it's been doing so well, but I think it's recovering from a very rough couple of days when I rescued it from where it was. And the fact of the matter is, is that it was in the, it was in a plant place for a very long time. And I think it got very root bound. So, um, I think it's trying to make its recovery and we're hoping by fall we'll get some color out of it. Just lots and lots of noise today. A lot of people are hauling stuff out of here. I've been seeing stuff falling back and forth. Uh, we got more and more crap up there. I was hoping to show you guys the rainbow. We had a rainbow. I came out to make a picture of the rainbow and the sun just went behind the clouds so quickly that I lost the rainbow real quick. But check this out, guys. Look at this honeysuckle. It's, it's going everywhere. It's, it's gone through the roof. And it's got blooms back on it that's still coming and going. I mean, but it's just, it's going everywhere and it's getting huge. And I'm going to have to come out and I'm going to have to tape it to that. And it's going to make its way down the thing if it kills me. Now, um, at the Debbie and Jeff household, um, theirs of this has been doing amazingly gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. But it's a different type. But look at how this sun sparkler dazzle berry sedum is coming in, guys gorgeous absolutely gorgeous now um we don't have much else to really report on guys but i am going to show you some really special stuff and then we you probably caught glimpses of the new plants already look at this guys the bee bomb delphinium is making another comeback we're going to have some gorgeous blooms on that i just know it um the sedum over here has actually come and gone um i don't know if it's going to make a separate comeback you can see where all the dark patches on that where that's gone with the beard tongue guys okay now, I've been trying for weeks, guys, to, to get you guys to be able to see one of these. You can see where the, the thing dies off and falls off. There's already been two of them. So I've been doing my best to try to get you guys. And this isn't the best looking this is because it just got wet. But this is one of the blooms from this plant. Uh, I think we've shown you guys one other one. That's all we've been able to do. The Coreopsis is doing really well. Um, a lot of stuff has just been doing amazingly well. Now, I just saw a... Um, Japanese beetle in the ground there. So there's probably some of my tree here, but um, I don't think I'm gonna, oops, maybe I will take, no, I, I really can't actually, guys, I can't. I'm gonna, I wanna get some of the ones off. Um, there's a lot of them right in there. I might know where I can find some insect killer really quick, and I might do them, because that little batch there really bothers me that's right over there. You guys probably can't make them out. But right where my finger's pointing, there's a whole batch of them all just huddled right in there. They're going to die. And uh, so far, though, I've been doing pretty good at keeping this tree. But the ones that get back here, they replicate. And that's what I call it. I don't care if we're calling it breed. It's replicating practically because it's so bad. And they just, just take over. And my bag is so full right now. And I have yet to empty it because everything in it never dies. The rain was not all that spectacular on a couple of these. This one fell with the weight of the... Now, it probably will come back tomorrow, but it looks like there's plenty of other stuff, guys, that's already going to come up. I don't think that's all dead. Here's the other sun sparkler. I think it's doing really well. Um, the grass out here needs to be done so badly. There's not a whole lot I can do about it because the rain, as I said, it's been damp. It's been terrible. It's been very difficult to do a lot of landscaping. Um, the blazing star has been going by, which is why the bees have been going nuts on it. Um, the only other real thing to show you guys that I just noticed is, um, our little strawberry type plant, which is, look at all the blooms, guys, just going crazy right in that one little spot. And, uh, that is just so awesome. I love it. So now I'm going to do my check guys in my legs. Looks like I'm doing pretty good unless I got something really small on me and some ticks are small. So, but the tick season has been pretty lax lately because of the extreme heat. So, I want to go to see if I can find that bug killer 
and kill those buggers on my thing without having to get too close because all the leaves are wet and I'm going to get drenched. But uh, I want to show everybody the two things we did put in today. One of which is at uh, work. They had some cone flowers they were getting rid of for around three bucks. So I rescued another pink batch of them. The ones we have over there, I th over there I think are more reddish when they come out. But here's a nice tall pink batch. I figured they'd go good next to the delphinium. We'll see how they recover, because they were not doing so hot. And if you look at the other ones over here, though, their time is pretty much come and gone. So, you know, we can't say much about that. And I feel like I got bugs on me. Mostly right now, I think it's mosquitoes. Now, something is blooming naturally on my front lawn. These little, little tiny ones, and it's pretty cool. But I got to be careful. Because stuff like that can overtake everything pretty quickly. The last one is a type of bee balm that my mother bought me. Which is not the same bee balm that we've got over there. I can just tell you just by looking at it. This is a different kind of bee balm. I do, it's called the Jacob Klein. So, uh, I don't know if you guys can see the sign real good. Mar, Marna da Didiyama. I mean, it's a type of bee balm, but it does not grow in the big grouping over there. I think the other one does. You guys can tell it's got a longer stem reach, and it's going to come outward. I'm good with that. Any kind of bee balm, that's why I planted over here. Good for attracting butterflies, clear wing moths, the hummingbird moths, and bees. Something we want a lot of. This whole garden area from just way over there all the way over to here, guys, it attracts tons and tons of flying insects. Um, and I don't mean the ones that are biting my ear currently, but I mean butterflies, bees, um, moths, all kinds of stuff that we want. Fortunately, the weeds are taking over over there. I got to do something about them. Um, weeding is going to be a big thing I've got to deal with soon, guys. So not something I'm particularly happy about. Let's uh, take one last look at something, guys, I was not aware of until I took a quick gander. But um, we've been talking about the Red Hot Poker stuff for a while look at this thing guys look how well it did and yet unless it's going to come up here in the fall i don't know what the heck's going to happen so it just blows my mind but anyway guys that's it um got some other ones coming up there with some stuff coming up and stuff in here going bye bye and just stuff coming and going now like crazy but that's it guys we got two new plants in today we still got a handful of shrubs and other stuff but um not bad i just wanted to show those off real quick the weather here is well let's just put it this way where my finger is guys right now where my hand is that's a rain band it's most likely coming this way i kind of expected that i'm gonna get rained on soon so i am gonna say toodaloo to you guys i'm sorry it's been so long but thank you for joining me today guys i am gonna go kill me some uh japanese beetles and get my butt inside before i get drenched i just spent I think 20 minutes or more hiding out in my shed uh, to avoid the last round of rain and it was very, very heavy. So I'm gonna avoid this one. You guys have a fun rest of your week and we will see you on the next one.